Welcome Mystics, True Seekers, James and Justin back at it again with another reaction video. This time we're going to take a look at Depeche Mode's recent release. Now I think they kind of gained steam a few weeks ago on an episode of The Last of Us, which is a really popular television show right now, mm -hmm. which we should probably do a reaction on that sometime. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think, yeah, they caught some steam and then all of a sudden there's this no, this new single that came out. And if you're unfamiliar with Depeche Mode, they were really popular, I think, in the 80s. Although I wasn't like a big fan of Depeche Mode. I just know that they were really popular at that time. Yeah. They've been around uh, for a long time and they've, they've got a, an audience. Yeah. yeah obviously. So, so that maybe they they noticed that they had caught some popularity and were like, we got to put something out now. So I don't know if that's what this is or if it's always been in the works. But anyway, it's trending on YouTube, so we're going to take a look at it and unpack what we can. I like the cane. So right away, I noticed that uh, these are two older guys, clearly, uh, and the setting is black and white, a city in the background, and a chessboard on top of a building. Yeah. Which... Pretty to, cool cinematography. I think. Yeah. It, to me, it speaks that they're not, they're not going for like, this is a more mature vibe. They're not going for like what you would typically see in most trending YouTube videos, like the party... But, you know, there's not girls in bikinis yeah. dancing all over the place. They've gone with a serious, distinguished vibe here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like, I, I like what you said about the synthy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, like, they're staying kind of... Well, again, I'm not... know a ton about Depeche Mode, but it seems like they're sticking with their their vibe, their thing. But it's, it is for, like, a... It's got a more mature tone. Yeah. It's black and white. Wasted... to represent him playing chess with himself or something like that like uh or is i don't know if that was a, that's an interesting take on it like they're cloaked um one guy looks you know maybe a little older than the other guy like is it him playing chess with him his super his his future self i'm not sure man the lyrics they there's a lot about like time and mm -hmm. like the fleetingness says like a thousand goodbyes thousand midnights everything goes away we're ghosts again Seems to me like there's a little bit of coming to grips with uh, the impermanence of life. Yeah. Uh, and things kind of passing by. Mm. But anyway, let's keep it going. So I think he just kind of validated what we were talking about there, like the impermanent stuff. They're literally like crawling through a graveyard, like through 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 death. So there's yeah. definitely like some imagery of death and the end 
yeah. uh, skulls on canes yeah. and, and all it's, it's all telling that some kind of a story because like who is that other dude who's the guy who's you know kind of wearing a cloak like the grim reaper like yeah. that or maybe they just all want to be in the video I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, maybe. Uh, the, yeah, are they all, are both of those guys in Depeche Mode? Uh, well, the guy's holding a guitar in the background right there. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I guess maybe the other guy's the lead singer, maybe the guy with the cut off sleeves of the drummer. I don't know. I don't know who the characters are in De Depeche Mode, but uh, maybe keep, we'll find all that out. <laughs> keep it going. Faith is oh, that's the same. The ghost thing, the ghost thing again thing. Maybe that has to do with like uh, before you're born being as a ghost and then after. Because they're saying you're going to be a ghost again. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's an interesting. Like uh, maybe the, their take on it is that you'll, you know, after this is done, you'll be as you were before. Kind of like a take look on it. Um. Hey, on a total side note, doesn't the guy sitting down look like Keith Richards? Let me know if you think so in the comments. Spotify playlist, folks. <laughs> you heard it here. Sometimes I wonder with um, stuff like certain songs bands put out if it's reflects like their views of their own musical career. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not trying to be offensive, but you know what I mean. Like they weren't around for a bit, and now they're here again, and then maybe they're thinking like, well, we know how this fame thing works, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting to see kind of artists, and I like to see artists kind of at the, the end of their career and what they put out after they've had a whole life of mm -hmm. like being in the spotlight. Like David Bowie, you heard his like his Black Star yeah. and Gord Downey, some of his stuff. It's interesting to hear their takes, a more mature, calmer, down to earth, like, okay, this is my reflection now after mm -hmm. I've gone through it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know that was kind of interesting I, th I think that you kind of get that out of that actually. yeah I, I mean it's cool to think that after a long career of like Depeche Mode is like huge you know it's cool to think that they enter into these different phases and that there's depth that comes in and, and stuff that you'd never seen you know yeah like variations on your, your favorite bands that are you know, just, it's just interesting to watch, right? Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Did you guys like the video? Do you think there's something there maybe that we missed uh, in the details there? Hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share with a friend, and everybody, until next time, stay spiritual.